What's happening achievers? I just see to hear from Invincible Achievers. Did you know that other people's eyes make you poor? This is something that I um, was listening to when I was driving today to pick up my son from his nursery. And I was listening to an interview done with P.T. Barnum. Uh, anyone who doesn't know who P.T. Barnum is, he's the one who introduced the cir circus to the world. Um, anyone who's watched The Greatest Showman will know who P.T. Barnum is. But I was watching, a, I was listening to an interview that happened with P.T. Barnum when he was alive. And he, anyone who knows P.T. Barnum's life knows that he was poor and he made it rich, but that's from the movie, but what they don't know is they lost, he lost everything and became poor again. And he worked really hard. He built up his museum. And as he got his museum up and running again, people burnt it down. And when he burnt it down at that time, he lost everything. At that time, he also lost his wife and his daughters. Um, and he went through a massive amount of depression, but he got through it and he remarried. He carried on pushing through, his faith got him through it. And the saying, the saying that he used to say was, this also shall pass. And on his tombstone, at this moment of time, it's actually written, thy will, thy will will be done. Which is amazing faith that he had. And that's the way he was able to build up a, a huge fortune and then lose the fortune, unfortunately. And then he built it up again. And when it was lost, he didn't lose his mind. He did not lose his mind. Even when he lost his children and his wife, he went through depression. The thing that got him through was the fact that he knew that this will also pass. However, when in the, in the actual interview, he said, and the question was, how did you make it rich again? And he said a couple of steps, but the one big step was you got to bootstrap. And when you're starting off anything, when you're starting off any business or any venture, or if you are in expenses, because at that time he was in massive amount of debt when his museum was burnt down and he paid all of it back and then he started rebuilding again. I think that was at the age of 40 when he did that. He said, you got to bootstrap. And bootstrap basically means reduce your expenses. But he mentioned that the thing that makes people poor the most is other people's eyes. Because if the world could not see no more and the only person that had eyes was you, would you buy that item? Now that's an amazing question. That's, a, that's an amazing question to actually think about when you're about to purchase something because this will actually filter out everything that is a necessity, if there's something that you need, or are you buying it to impress others? Now, don't get me wrong, guys. If you're achieving, achieve, get your toys, get your stuff. It's, it's a reward. But if you are trying to impress others, then you will go out, out of your comfort zone and way into the danger zone. Remember, guys, comfort zone is great. Danger zone is when you are spending too much and you haven't got enough coming in. You're doing too much in the hopes that you will become something. Just like in the gym, for instance, if I decide, oh, you know what? I feel like being like um, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, or the Arnold Schwarzenegger in the older days. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up the plates. I'm gonna load up the plates to about 300 kgs, and I've never picked up 300 kgs, and bam, I kill myself. That's the danger zone. That's expending too much. You gotta build yourself up. And it was profound what he was, that, that sentence. As I was driving to the nursery to pick up my son, I went into a daze and, and I, I didn't listen to the rest that I had to rewind it. But at that point, I started thinking, this is so true. People buy things, and even myself, we buy things to impress others. But, when we're about to buy something, if we actually think, if the world could not see, if all the people in this world could not see any longer, would I purchase this? And if the answer is no, I would not purchase it, then put it down because there's no point in getting it. It's just extra expense. 
Uh, P.T. Barnum is a great person to actually learn about. Um, um, I will do a story about his life's life here because it's so motivational. Um, but that is the true measure of if we should be buying stuff because if we are buying too much, then what happens is our bank doesn't have an, a, a, a savings, a bank, our wages, we don't have enough to meet the end of the month. What we want to do is have enough money at the end of the month above the expenses so we can start saving. And that saving is for investment or a rainy day. You never know what's going to happen. So that's, that is a real profound moment when I was driving. And it's something that we should think about whenever we're going to purchase something. But also something to think about if we're trying to achieve anything. If we're trying to achieve something, we need to bootstrap basically reduce our expenses and save as much money. Um, there, was a, there was a story that um, it, within the interview, he also mentioned that one sofa, one sofa that his wife had bought him, uh, bought, cost him at that time $50,000. Now at that time, that's probably nowadays about $300,000. How did a sofa cost P.T. Barnum 300,000? Because he said, when, they bought, when my wife went and bought this sofa, she bought this sofa and said, wow, this sofa is amazing. I love this sofa, but the room doesn't go with this. So what we need to do is we need to uh, maybe ch buy some more dining tables and we need to buy some more uh, table, tables and we need to buy uh, cupboards. And then once all that's purchased, she looked around and thought, hmm, this, all this, expensive items don't go in this house. We need to buy a bigger house. So they went and moved and moved into a huge mansion, which cost them X amount of money. And after all of it was done, he said, that sofa cost me $50,000 at that time. That's amazing when you think about, when you buy something, what else comes along with it? We don't think that. For instance, if we buy a real flashy car, now, Anybody can go out and get a flashy car. I mean, if you wanted to get, um, if you're in a position to be able to get a really super car, like for instance, my favorite, everyone probably knows is a Lamborghini. If I get the Lamborghini, park it outside, great, it's on a lease, I'll probably be able to cover it. But if a tire breaks, if something happens to it, or the tire pops, or the expenses that go with it afterwards is what breaks the bank. And that's what needs to be assessed. That is exactly what needs to be assessed to think, mm, I need to bootstrap. Because there is a time for everything. And this is a saying from, um, from the Book of Wisdoms, where um, Wayne Dyer mentioned this as well, and it's, it's, he's, he's an absolutely awesome teacher. There's a time for anything. There's a time for everything. There's a time for rest. There's a time to feel pressured. There's a time to strive. There's a time to spend, there's a time to save, there's a time for everything. And as we go through time, we should just go with the flow. So guys, just a quick thing that I, something that I was thinking about today and I want to share it with everyone. So think about it, bootstrap, think is, up, is the eyes of other people making you poor or are you actually buying it for necessity? Make sure you have enough money at the end of the month rather than spending it all. And whenever you buy something, assess what else expenses, what other expenditures will be tied along with it. Keep adding value to people's lives. Keep spreading love. And just remember, we're one idea away from changing the future. Take care. Bye.